Hello, my pretties. It is Tuesday morning, time for my mind time. Now, I have no idea what I'm gonna do today because I have nothing left in my mystery bag stash. But that's not what you're here for today because today is June 1st and it is time for our winner. You know, I only had two people that, you know, liked all the videos, left an emoji on all the videos, and were subscribed for all nine videos. And that was Panda Eyes and Gail. And since both of you have already won in the past, Gail, you are one, I, I love all of the messages I get from you. I feel very lucky to have someone like you in my life, as goes for everyone else. Um, since you just won, Gail, Panda Eyes, you did win back in December. Your winner, your winnings were a bit further, so maze is going to go to you not everything has shown up yet so and i already have your address so be on the lookout but for today today um one i just got a text message from my employer you know today's my late day saying, we need you to be here at eight o'clock. I live 20 minutes from my job and I saw the message at 7.42. And to eat my breakfast that I had started before I saw the text because you did not give me 24 hours notice. You can take that out of my PTO. But for today, what do I have today? I just went over to my stash box. I picked an eyeshadow palette. I picked a lipstick. Hopefully they go together. Who knows? But let's get into the informational portion of this video. For anyone who is new here, hi, I'm Gladys. On this channel, I mostly do unboxings like Ipsy, BoxyCharm, Bad Fit, Fun. On Tuesdays, I do what is considered a get ready with me, but I call it a mime time because I am mums the word. And I leave all my thoughts at the back of the video because I just can't talk and do it at the same time. I just can't. And now, usually my mind times consist of the products that I get from my mystery boxes. I haven't had any mystery boxes lately. Maybe they'll pick up in July, you know, July, Christmas in July kind of bit. Maybe, I don't know, but we'll see. If not, I have plenty things to choose in my stash that I have not gotten to because I just haven't gotten to it so I can supplement with those you know I love a mystery box I really do and on this channel I do mystery box giveaways uh, May's just wrapped up June's should be starting next week and more information on that uh, next week. Now, if you like my content and like me, please do all those things that YouTube would like you to do and I would so appreciate if you could do. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, help me grow. Because the more I grow, the more I can get, the more I can give. And if you don't like me and my content, I just ask, 
you know, just move on to the next. Well, I don't ask you to move on to the next. I would love for you to stick around, but you just move on to the next video. It's okay. We all do it. We all know we do it. I just ask that you don't leave a nasty comment because no one's got time for that shit. Last minute, hey, we need you here in 20 minutes. That kind of shit. All right, so let's see what I grabbed. You know, most of my products are the same. Um, I just have a new eyeshadow palette and new lip to play with. Let me get out a wipe. Let me take a bite of toast and a sip of tea. Okay. For my normal stuff, we have my concoction of the Juvia's Place I am Magic Foundation in Cebu C610 mixed with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. Works wonders. I love it now. We're going to go with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in 08 Light. Nothing left there. <laughs> Winky Lux Unibrow Pencil, the Wonder Beauty Precise Brow Gel, Pretty Vulgar, uh, Uncaged Eyeshadow Primer, if I need it, the next Glitter Glow. I just might use the Dose of Colors. What is this? Eyeliner in Loyal. We're going to use the Jaclyn Hill. What is this called? Uh, Bronze and Blushing Duo in Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. And I'll use the Jaclyn uh, Mini Highlighter in Awestruck. And as you know, my ABH Lash Brag Mascara. Now, as far as the products I got from my stash, I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Candy Cane. This is from their Holiday. Let's lay it. And I'm going to warn you now. Things that I pull out of my stash for eyeshadow palettes are mostly purple because I love purple. And I don't think you would mind purple because uh, you guys tell me you love purple too. I just, I just love purple. But the eyeshadow palette I have for today is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Eyeshadow Palette in Beaver Lux. Fibro Lux. I don't know. It's. And now I can open it. Here is the nice sleek packaging. And you got like this button to open it. And instead of a black, I mean, instead of clear, you got a black plastic. But here it is. I have a purple in the center. I told you, it's mostly purples in that then that I'm trying to get through but I've never had a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette I bought it it was cheap I don't even remember all right here they are we have fabulous always always is a pinky peachy matte color that's same color or lighter than my skin so you know that's my base shade. <laughs> you have dress. You have what? Ultra Geo Sleep. Not a word, but okay. How you want. 
who has the time and or less? I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I have heard, from which I can see, I know, purples are notorious for being a shade that is hard to formulate. And that bright purple was patchy. Patchy. So, we'll see. I forgot, face primer. Today's face primer will be Bobbi Brown Primer Plus, Plus Radiance Broad Spectrum SPF 35. So let's start with that.
to it. It's kind of menthol-y, but pepperminty, but not so pepperminty. I don't think, when I smell it, when I put it on my lips, it doesn't smell like a York peppermint patty, but kinda sorta smells like a candy cane, sort of. Like you're not getting the sweet, you're just getting the menthol -y. Someone, somewhere, some guru, makeup person says that older people should wear a, a more muted tone of purple. That's what this is. Is this shade of purple my favorite? No. No. It is a little patchy. You can pack it on and you get decent color, but it's still kind of... Meh. Meh. Meh is the word. It did come out to a really nice look. Very simple. Not simple. Dark, subtle. No, not subtle. Dark, smoky. What with color? Sort of. This is more of a gray purple. This is like your jam. All right, you can go right ahead. I would prefer a little more purple, like purple, you know? But as far as the quality of the shadows, they feel almost cream, but they're definitely a powder. They blend it out quite nicely as a whole. Do I think it gets a little muddled? Yes. But you sh I stuck a shimmer on so it's like, ooh, purple. <laughs> but what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? I do love the lip more than the eyes. That's just is a purple look. All right. Um, have a good day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.